What's up everybody? This is John over at Shore Cycles. Today we are looking at the Genuine Rough House 50. And this is the standard model, the base model, whatever you want to call it. There's also a Rough House Sport model with a few upgrades. We call this one more of the Jeep style scooter with the knobby tires and blacked out paint and all that stuff. So great bike. 49cc air-cooled two-stroke engine. Two-stroke versus four-stroke. The two-stroke is going to mix gas and oil together and burn them together versus the four stroke you fill up with gas and then get all the changes like a car so two strokes generally run a little bit quicker they need a little bit less maintenance and the rough house is one of the few if not the only model left besides the genuine buddy that is still made in the u.s with a or is still imported into the u.s that is with a two-stroke engine so they still get their epa cert on that which is pretty awesome and it is one of the fastest 50 cc scooters out of the box that we've ever ridden. 12 inch wheels, standard on the Rough House. They used to be 10 inch back in somewhere like 2015, 2016. They switched over to 12s, a little bit smoother ride. And then that also opens up the opportunity for some different tires in the 12 inch rim. It's a little bit more common worldwide for scooters having that 12 inch wheel. You have an automatic CVT transmission, so that's a continuously variable setup. You have a variator in the front clutch in the back there's a belt in there got a hydraulic disc brake in the front rotor caliper visible right there then you have a, a drum brake standard drum brake in the rear got a usb to charge your phone and it's a great accessible bike for a lot of folks a lot of accessories available for the rough house through scooter works so getting into the controls switches you have the standard high beam low beam turn signal and horn buttons the horn on the Rough House is upgraded. It's not that little beep beep kind of horn that you hear on most scooters. It's a little bit better. You hear a little bit, a little better. It's a little bit uh, deeper sound. Kill switch like any motorcycle or scooter. Flashers right there and then electric starter button. Front brake lever right there, rear brake lever right there. Nice quality, durable mirrors. And looks like two lights in there. It's actually just one headlight has a nice dual look to it so that's nice you don't have to worry about two bulbs or one book blowing out it's just one one bulb there so talk about the tires good knobby tire we sell a ton of this scooter to people who ride around and stuff that looks like this some gravel down the driveway the campground crowd the rv crowd get to the campground take it off the back of your rv rv it only weighs 198 pounds dry so add a little bit of uh fuel about a gallon of fuel and then a little bit of oil so you're about 200 pounds so it's still pretty light take it down with the ramp and all that uh and then uh, tons of folks down by the beach we're in, we're in a coastal area so sandy roads gravelly roads stuff like that the rough house with the standard knobby tires is, is pretty great for that stuff okay so let's dive in to the floorboard here you can see one thing i also really like is if you're taller they gave you these cutouts for your feet so you can put your feet there and stretch out a little bit battery is very accessible right under the floorboard there there's no rubber mat to worry about very durable scooter and then in there is your oil tank so you take that thumb screw off there's an oil tank in there when you see that red light come on the gauges you need to top it up of course you have miles per hour odometer fuel gauge high beam load or just high indicator then oil light and turn signal um, the oil light is not like a gas light where, you know, you got a little bit to go, 10, 20, 30 miles to go on the gas light. When the oil light comes on, you pretty much want to pull over, fill it up. It's not worth running out of oil because if the thing runs out of oil, then uh, you're causing yourself some motor trouble. So make sure you fill it up when that comes around. Genuine did change their oil standards in 2019 or 2020, somewhere in there. Uh, you do have to put an FD certified oil in this thing. It's a higher standard oil. We uh, do a Motul uh, synthetic scooter oil in these things right now. And then they also want an 85 w140 in the tranny and previously i think it was like an 80 90 so 85 140 a little bit more uh durable oil when the thing gets really hot looking at the seat this has the standard seat it's a slightly taller position than the rough house sport model uh just just very slightly it's not like a big difference and then in the seat here Battery will go under the floorboard. You have your owner's manual, and then you have a pretty deep storage compartment. You can almost fit maybe a small full face in here. You definitely fit a three-quarter or a half helmet. And if you have a D-ring on your helmet, 
you can always put the D-ring in right there and then close the seat on the strap and it'll hold it in place. You also have gas cap accessible out here. It is lockable, so that is keyed with the same key as the ignition. All the rough houses have an ignition steering column lock, so you can lock that to the side so someone can't just walk away with it. And then if you need better security, there is a locking point right there by the kickstand, which is pretty awesome. It's a welded frame point. You can always put one through the wheel quick, more quickly too, but if you want the strongest point, there is that little guy right there. You have your standard kickstand, got a center stand, and then you have your uh, kick start back up right there. Um, so that's kind of what's going on, on the left side. And then as far as the brake, you have a, a standard rotor on the Rough House. The Rough House Sport has a bigger rotor. So if you think you're really going to be traveling pretty quickly uh, on the highway or you know frequently going at the top speed of the scooter, you may want to consider the Rough House Sport. It's going to have bigger brakes. It also has sport tires. These brakes do great though for the size of the scooter. Uh, and then you have the rear drum back up in there and then there's your fill for the gear oil. The Rough House has standard turn signals. The Rough House Sport has LEDs. So here's your standards right there. And the matte black is by far the best selling standard model that we carry. They've done other colors in the past. Uh, white is another common one right now, uh, but we, we really like the blacked out you know, flat black, matte black, rough house 50. Just a great durable bike. You know, even if you're in the city, it can take a beating. You know, it's all plastic parts that are easily replaceable if you do have a, a tip over or something. And there's a ton of upgrades for these scooters. Genuine through their partner company, Scooter Works. Get that through any local dealer. Rear rack is definitely the most common. This is just a grab bar with tie down points for a strap, but there's an actual rear rack you can put a top case on. There's also like side body guards there's front body guards, there's nice windshields, there's even performance kits as well, exhausts and bore kits and stuff. So tons to look at through Scooter Works and all that. Something that uh, your local dealer can definitely help you out with. Genuine covers this thing for two years, parts and labor. It's got a nationwide dealer network. Genuine's been around a long time, selling their scooters since around 2002, I believe. And they've been in the US even longer as Scooter Works since the 80s. So they know what they're doing with scooters. They've been working with this factory PGO for the Rough House for a long time. Great reliability, great part support, great crew over there at Genuine. And we definitely think that this, for the price point, what you're paying is kind of the best value for a 50cc. If you're looking to get a good quality 50, you don't want a cheap Chinese scooter that's, you can get parts for, it, but it's kind of having issues all the time. This is, that's not the Rough House. The Rough House is ultra reliable, just as reliable as our book as the Japanese scooters and quicker in our opinion as well, top speed wise and all. So two years parts and labor, Nationwide Dealer Network. If you're looking to get one of these things, we're in the mid-Atlantic region here in Salisbury, Maryland, about two hours from DC, two hours from Baltimore, two and a half, three from Philly, two and a half from Norfolk, about four from Richmond. We're an easy drive down by Ocean City, Maryland. So if you're looking to get one, give us a shout. You can also deliver re regionally. We deliver within the, the region here. So if you're, uh, if you're close by, we can take it to your house and drop it off right there for you. So please send this to a buddy if you're looking at the Rough House share it comment with any questions you might have we're happy to answer them and subscribe for more rough house videos and more scooter videos if you liked it please get a th thumbs up in there as well appreciate you watching we'll see you in the next one